Recently, young Wesley Cooper, who we've featured in other videos, came to see me just to check on his progress, and he did to check see if there's any flaws had crept into his game. Unfortunately, we arranged it at very short notice, and I didn't have time to arrange for Phil, my cameraman, to come along and film it professionally. What I did do was take a few photographs, and indeed a video of him on my phone. And his father, and indeed Wesley, have kindly given us permission to include it on the channel. Initially, I asked young Wesley to play a few shots so that I could have a good look at his game. It immediately became obvious that between the times that we'd seen each other, he'd developed a slight flaw in his stance. It had become narrow and, and not given him proper stability. He was also at a slight tendency to lean backwards, where I like to see the weight going slightly forward onto the table. So I took a few photos of his stance and we had a good discussion about it. On the first image, it's quite obvious that uh, Wesley's stance has got very, very narrow. Yeah, I like to see the stance particularly about hip width, even slightly wider than hip width apart. Because it's so narrow, it's, it encourages or certainly uh, promotes, shall we say, lateral movement. So I would like to see that quite definitely a little wider. In the second image, I, I've widened it slightly, which is not too obvious in this picture. But the other problem is I'm getting the impression that he's leaning backwards away from the table. The left leg has got a slight bend in it. I think that's the result of too much football and his hamstrings have become a little bit tight. He's not stretching off correctly after his exercise. Not a very good image here again, but it's fairly obvious that this left leg is bent. Now, he's not bending that to get lower. He's already quite short, so he doesn't need to get lower. Uh, it's just a little bit of a problem in the hamstrings there, which I've given him a few exercises to do, which will encourage the, the loosening of these hamstrings and he'll be able to get this leg straighter. In this next image, we've still got the slight bend in the, in the left knee, but you'll see that I've noticeably widened the stance. All right, that gives him more lateral stability. So quite pleased with that. And here you can see uh, that we've widened the stance. The right foot has gone slightly forward in advance of the left, encouraging him to get the weight to go forward a little. Even from this back view here, we can see that he's trying to straighten this, this left leg a little. And we come to this picture. Although I'd still like to see him get away from the table a little bit, the left leg is straightened. The, the stance is more stable because of the wider stance uh, and overall he's starting to look like a good snooker player. You can obviously tell quite a lot from photographic images but there's nothing quite like video to tell you what is actually happening. So let's have a, a, a quick look at some of the videoing that I did of Wesley. Nice long swing, all right. Nice smooth action, good lad. Good, your dad will feel, come on dad. <laughs> Don't forget your technique, good. Not too hard, nice and smooth, come on. Good lad.
Now here you'll see that although his left leg has still got a slight kink at the knee, he's definitely widened the stance. He's thinking about what he's doing. I'd still like to see him get away from the shot with his feet a little more. So I'm still getting the impression that he's leaning backwards and coming off the shot a little bit. I, I personally like to see the weight going forward so that the weight is onto the table. It gives you the player a lot more stability. Just think about getting that weight going forward a little bit, Wesley, onto the table. That's nice. Too hard. Come on, take the pace off. Beautiful. Now Wesley's missed that shot primarily because he's lost position with his white. He's ended up a little straight on the black and trying to manoeuvre the white into the desired position. He's digging down on the white a little bit which examines your technique. The pace he's putting into the shot again examines the technique. Right? So we need to tighten up this cue ball control. Having said that, you know, it's inevitable that some stage in the game you're probably going to end up straight on the black. So we just need to make sure that, again, he's leaning into the shot a little bit. He seems, again, to be leaning off, creating movement. Now, when you're using pace like that, you have to be more careful. Come on, play that shot again. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're a little straight on the black. Go on, you're all right. Try again. Nice and smoothly. All right, good. <laughs> Give yourself a little angle then. Give yourself a little angle. That's it. So if we look at that, he's uh, missed the shot twice now. Uh, once he was digging up a little bit with the butt end of the cue. Um, so, you know, not a good position overall. The second one, he's got a little bit flatter. He's not hitting quite so low on the cue ball, right? But he's still used a lot of pace. Now he's starting to get a little frustrated with himself because he's missed twice. Now, I don't encourage failure. I don't like to see a, 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 a young lad like, like Wesley um, just missing shots all the time. I want to encourage success. So we make the shot a fraction easier just to get, get round the, this mental barrier. Pace creates errors, remember that? That's better, good lad. Get that cue moving a little bit more. Nice long swing. Groove those muscles, those young muscles. How old are you now? Twelve. Twelve. Wish I could play like you when I was twelve. Okay, sir.
Now, when things don't go right, just have a think about it. Why? Get those fingers working, Wesley. Good shot. I just want you to hold on the backswing this time, Wesley, for me. Stop on the backswing when you're ready. Stop. Uh, here, I've emphasised the importance of the grip in other videos. And here we can see Wesley here, just unfurling these back fingers, concentrating on the front of the grip, the finger and thumb here, and this unfurling of these rear fingers. I love to see these these kids with nice, what I call piano fingers, you know, get the flexibility that they've got. There's no real strength in them. You're using the technique. Absolutely beautiful. That's good. Okay, away you go. Good lad, beautiful. That's all right, don't worry. Okay, away you go. Now, nice and smooth, nice and long. Good lad. Now keep that action smooth, long and fluent. Well, that's gorgeous, Wesley. Gorgeous. Come on, sir. Just have a think. A little bit unlucky. Very responsive table, remember. Nice. Lovely little touch. Now one aspect of Wesley's game that I, I particularly like is the way that he stands back away from the shot, walks into the shot, the cue comes down on the line of the shot rather than across the line. All these little aspects that, that build up into a successful player in the end. We still need to work on this, this business of getting the weight going forward, but we, we will do that progressively. No need to rush at this stage. Beautiful shot. Well done. Better keep your care going. Don't forget your pre-shot routine. Get those fingers working. I think from there, particularly in that last shot, you'll see slight frustration when he misses. 
Well, that's because he's keen. He's very keen. It means something to him. It's got to mean something. Otherwise, you don't improve. I love to see children like him get, not annoyed, but a little frustrated. You know, they, they, they want to improve. That means that if I give him something to do, he's going to go away and work at it. I know him. Now, after this, uh, th these few videos that we did, uh, Wesley and I played a few games and we talked about the game overall. I was delighted with his progress. He actually went on to Malta and competed in the under-17 European game. Um, and, you know, competing against 17-year-old kids who have actually been, uh, you know, at the top of the game in, uh, in their age group. And he reached the semi-final. That's a, a remarkable achievement for a 12-year-old. I'm so pleased with the young man. Well done, Wesley.